time for the Saturday contribution to uh, Right and Proper Ladies. And this week's uh, theme is Nihilism and Bohemian Rhapsody. And here we go. Here's how to pronounce the word. Uh, Dictionary.com. Nihilism. Here you go again. Nihilism. So now we've got the word nihilism. Now you know how to pronounce it. Nihilism is a philosophy, an outgrowth of existentialism. Uh, they're all sort of related to humanism and form a whole group of isms all together uh, that uh, sort of question how we exist. Uh, the twin or as you could even say that some people argue that the child of nihilism uh, but I would say it's more of a twin of nihilism more than uh, 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 as opposed to a child of nihilism is anarchism you know the anarchists who are around on the streets uh, every time you see a WTO meeting or something like that uh, you see all these people in black uh, hoodies and uh, they've got the sort of the anarchist symbol the ace symbol and they're breaking the windows, and just, that's that's the anarchists. Uh, they're very closely related to the nihilists, uh, so much so that you can either would either consider them to be siblings or to be a child of. So that's nihilism uh, and its relation to extent, uh, existentialism, the the philosophy of existence. Uh, what its basic foundation is the rejection of anything real in society and life. Their view is that everything that we that exists for us is all a concept and perceived that there is no reality. And because of this, the nihilists take the perception that nothing matters. Because there's no reality, that means there's no laws, there's no morality, there's no love, there's no hate. You know, all these things are, are merely uh, concepts and perceptions. And they extend this out to gender. Anytime you hear about this, these, these uh, genders, transgender, um, the, uh, including the sexuality issues, these are all forms of nihilism uh, that says everything around you is a concept. Uh, this includes mind over matter. Um, this includes uh, uh, what is it again? Uh, I can't remember at this point. But it, it extends pretty far out. Every time you hear someone say it's all good, right? there's a phrase that says it's all good. Uh, that's a form of nihilism where they accept every uh, every idea that is po proposed to them or they, they say they do and they say these these ideas and concepts are all the same uh, and nothing matters to them uh, because they're all myths anyways and concepts and ideas so whatever you choose is fine uh, is different from uh, accepting a person regardless of what their views are. Now, let's say you may not like somebody's particular point of view. That doesn't mean you have to agree with their point of view in order to say, okay, I like this guy. This person's a, pers a pretty cool person or a very nice guy or however you want to phrase it. And it also doesn't mean that you have to hate the person either. <laughs> you know, you go, oh, I don't, I hate this guy. I don't like the way he thinks. You know, that's, that's not it either. That's, that, that shouldn't be a reason to hate someone just because you don't like their ideas. You can hate a person for what they do, if their actions are violent and mean and whatever, uh, along those lines, but you, you know, it, it, hate is never really a good thing to have within, within yourself. It, it, all hate does is, is make yourself angry and it hurts you more than it hurts anyone else. So uh, that's that little bit on there. In the connection to the Bohemian Rhapsody is that it was the nihilist view, and nihilism comes out of Western philosophy. Uh, it was the nihilist view, and that 
the Bohemians, who were essentially the uh, gypsies uh, out of Romania. Uh, they were considered to be the ultimate icon of, of nihilism. Uh, it was it was the gypsies who influenced the nihilisms of the sixty nihilism of the sixties. That was the uh, the psychedelic move, movement, the hippie the hippie love generation. Uh, that was all nihilism inspired by the uh, sort of the bohemian lifestyle. And this is what where uh, Queen had picked up uh, on its Bohemian Rhapsody. It had picked up on this theme of uh, the bohemian lifestyle. And so it included this in one of its albums, known as. Uh, and one of its own, and so it included the song Bohemian Rhapsody, and ever since then it's kind of uh, become, uh, I don't know, any time they go back at rock and roll, Bohemian Rhapsody seems to be one of those uh, uh, quintessential songs that you really have to sort of pay an homage to. So they did this in Wayne's World, they did this in, you know, and the thing is, this is what was funny about Sonia's uh, a little bit, is that she was doing the uh, Wayne's World bit, you know, where they have the song playing in the background and everyone, you know, playing along, you know, doing the air guitar, singing, mouthing the words and stuff like that. That sort of, and, 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 and this is this was done on Saturday Night Live. It was done on Wayne's World. Um, a number of people have always have, have also copied and done the same thing. Uh, so <laughs> it is uh, a quite an interesting phenomenon to see how far nihilism has spread and into. Uh, popular culture with uh, Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody, where it's now one of the anthems of society today. Uh, but that being said, uh, nihilism, if you really take a look at it, and people who say they believe in nihilism, You'll find there's a limit to their nihilism. There's a point where they do believe in things strongly. And if you challenge them on this part, on the part they believe strongly, uh, then they will behave nothing like an an nihilists, accepting that everything is a concept and uh, uh, that we should accept everyone regardless of their ideas based on the fact that we should accept all concepts, we should be open-minded, free-thinking, uh, in the sense that uh, uh, everything is is okay because it's a, because uh, nothing is real. Everything is a concept. So if you've got a handgun and you want to go out and shoot somebody, no problem. It's a, it's a concept, right? Uh, all you're doing is when you when you're killing a person is you're you're eliminating a concept. That's all you're doing, right? Uh, you want to. You know, get rid of a baby, you're pregnant, you want to get rid of a baby, no problem, it's a concept, <laughs> you know. You're not getting rid of anything real, so no no, no, no biggie there. Um, and this can be said a lot along a lot of these different lines with these different things, is that a lot of the stuff has its origin uh, in nihilism. And But the thing is, when you turn around and, and start challenging these nihilists or, or so-called nihilists on these particular issues, this is where they get offended and say, oh, no, that's not right. You can't say this and you can't say that. and Or this person's ignorant here and that person's ignorant there. I mean, just talk to any, any, any um, nihilist who talks to the way, you know, the way that I've given the example. Talk to them about the Christian right and ask them how they feel about the Christian right. And you'll see a, a very non-nihilist answer right there. <laughs> and so that's where you'll see the you know the the limits of nihilism really come into play when it affects them individually. Nihilism is basically for everybody else except for yourself. So you have the attitude that you're the best person in the world. Your ideas are great. You're the great artist. You're the thinker of the world. You're an intellectual, and everybody else around you is the problem. So nihilism works great. Until it turns around on you, and then mm -mm -mm, nihilism isn't the uh, the uh, piece of pie you thought it was. So that's nihilism. That's Bohemian Rhapsody, and this is Saturday's uh, contribution to uh, nihil to nihilism and Bohemian Rhapsody. So 
you can see that in the title that Zoe thought of. It doesn't matter. I love you, but I love. It doesn't matter, but I love you. That's her uh, her uh, title there. Oh, actually, this is Bethan's title, and uh, Zoe's title is "I love you, but it doesn't matter." It's just sort of the uh, same phrasing, but so that's Bethan. This is your explanation of what nihilism is, uh, how it relates to, uh, to uh, existentialism, and how it relates to um, Bohemian Rhapsody. And I hope this provides you with some degree of content that you were are craving. Alrighty. Have a good week and see you on Sunday.